Hey everyone, Kevin from Robertson's Power and Sports. Today we're going to talk about which KM side by side is best for you. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so if you're watching this video, you're probably in the market for a KM side by side. Can't say I blame you. KM has a side by side to fit everybody's needs, and their products are second to none. So I'm not going to bore you with all the specs and all these different machines. You can read all that online. But what I am going to give you is the nuts and bolts to each one of these machines and to tell you what they're in my opinion, what they're best for and how they may suit your needs. We're going to start off with the Canton M Commander. <clears throat> this one here is a four seat configuration. I've got a two seater right here as well. These both come with a 1000 R motor. And in my opinion, these are, this machine here is the best as far as a sport utility machine. It's really the ultimate crossover. Okay. You can use this to go out trail ride with your buddies, or you can use it around your yard for any type of work around the yard, whether it's hauling logs, mulch, rock, anything like that, because these are equipped with a dump body. And the nice thing is, is when you can use this around the yard, you can also use that excuse to try to sell it to the significant other that we need this for around the yard. And we won't tell her that we're gonna go out on Sundays and ride with the guys. So, Commander, 100 horsepower, 1000 cc motor, nice room inside, feels really roomy um, you know trail rides really really well but can also use be used for utility around the house so if you're looking for something to do a little bit of everything with this is the machine for you okay again comes in a two-seater configuration four-seater configuration as well moving along if you're the person that's going to be doing more utility work more work around the yard around the farm uh, maybe you're going to use do a lot of plowing don't really do much trail riding, the Can-Am Defender is a great choice. Now the Can-Am Defender will come in a three seat configuration or a six seat configuration, comes in an 800 cc motor or a 1000. There are many different trim levels to this machine. With this, the dump body is a lot larger than what's on the Can-Am Commander. Gives you, you know, more room to do any of the type of work around your yard that you're going to need. Um, one of the things with the Commander, the, the way the seating is in the front, it's a bench style seat, but you do have individual seats that kind of all flow together though. The ease of getting in and out of this machine is, is awesome. It really is. Now, this isn't just a utility machine for around the yard or around the farm. You can trail ride this machine as well. It will do very well on the, machine, on the trails, but keep in mind that it's not going to keep up with some of the other machines, it's not gonna ride as good as some of the other machines that are more dedicated for trail riding. So I like the Defender, it's one of my favorite machines because I believe this is the Swiss Army knife. You can get out, ride the trails comfortably, not gonna be at a breakneck speed though, but yet when you come home and you got a lot of work to do, this machine is gonna get it done for you. So that's the Defender. The next line that Can-Am has is the Maverick line. Now there's a several different models within the Maverick line. We're going to start off with the Maverick Trail. The Maverick Trail, this one here is a 1000. You can also get it in an 800 as well. This only comes as of right now in a two seat configuration. Okay. The other thing with Maverick Trail, I think the right person for this machine is the one that wants to go out and do some casual riding, not going to get real aggressive with it just kind of, you know, not putting around, but you know, taking it easy out there. Um, great machine for getting into tight areas. If your trails are really, really tight where you ride, this machine here is 50 inches wide, okay? So a 50 inch wide machine is great, like I said, for getting into tight areas. If you're gonna try to get out into some tight spots for hunting, awesome machine for this. Now, one thing I will suggest to you, if you're considering a Maverick Trail, in the 1000s, they come with the doors on them already. An 800 model comes just with nets on it, okay? So with that being said, being a 50 inch wide machine, when you get in it, if you're a little bit bigger person like myself, it will tend to feel a little bit tight, like you don't have a lot of elbow room in it. So my suggestion is, if you're considering this, definitely get, be, get a chance to sit in one, see how you like it, see how comfortable it is for you. I've had many people come in and say, hey, I think I really want a Maverick Trail. After sitting in it, they say, geez, it's just a little bit tighter than what I really would like. 
I think I'm gonna have to do a different option. So just don't wanna see you spend a bunch of money on something and come to find out that you don't like it. A lot of people like this machine, don't get me wrong, but let's just do our homework first, get your butt in the seat and see what you think about it, okay? So if the Maverick Trail feels a little bit too tight for you, if you think you want a little bit more power, a little bit more you know, performance as far as suspension goes, this is its big brother right here, the Maverick Sport, okay? Now the Maverick Sport starts off at a 60 inch wide machine. You can get this in a two seat configuration along with a four seat configuration. Um, so being a 60 inch wide machine, you do feel like you have a little bit more elbow room inside. And the biggest difference between a Maverick Sport and a Maverick Trail, when we talk about roominess inside, is the doors on the Maverick Sport. I don't know if you can tell in the picture or not, but this door bows out a little bit. It's got a bend where the Maverick Trail is just flat. And that's really what's gonna give you your elbow room on the inside of this machine. So again, you know, if this guy here is just a little bit too tight, I know you're gonna feel comfortable in this machine as far as the roominess inside the cab. Also, when we jump up to the Maverick Sport series, the 1000R motor, that is a 100 horsepower motor. Compared to the Maverick Trail 1000, this is a 75 horsepower motor, and their 800 is a 50 horsepower machine, okay? So you're gonna get more power on the Maverick Sport, along with a better suspension. Now, this machine here is their XRC. Anytime you go to an XRC, an XXC, now we're talking a 64 inch wide machine, so it's a little bit wider, okay? So be sure to check with your state regulations as far as um, trail width restrictions in your area. You wanna make sure that you know, you're not buying a machine that's gonna be too wide for you. So this, in my opinion, is for the person that wants to go out have a great time on the trails, ride a little bit aggressively, really likes good power, and also likes good suspension. Keep in mind with this machine here, this does not have a dump bed on it like the Commander does or the Defender. So not as good for working around the yard, so you may have a harder time selling this one to the significant other. Unless you wanna use it as a rototiller, you can try that pitch. I'm sure it'll do some good rototilling for you. To wrap up, okay, Ultimate Sport Machine, Maverick X3. This machine here, okay, two seat configuration, four seat configuration as well, ranging the horsepower from 120 to 195 horsepower motor. If you're the adrenaline junkie, wanna get out and just rip and be able to hit big bumps and not feel it that much, this suspension eats that stuff up, absolutely loves it, okay? Um, pure sport like i said you want to go out and just rail all day long this is the machine to do it and whether you want to go lower horsepower or higher horsepower that's completely up to you this machine is not for everybody i can't stress that enough is it a cool machine absolutely but it doesn't serve everybody's purpose so by all means you know if you're into that go fast definitely consider this machine but again do your homework ask a bunch of questions, give us a call here at 207-324-5502 and talk to one of our knowledgeable staff members here and let's get you in the right machine that's gonna suit your needs. Feel free to ask questions, ask away. These machines are a lot of money guys, okay? And to spend a bunch of money on a machine that isn't gonna suit your needs is foolish. You're gonna get home and you're gonna not like your purchase. So be sure to ask away, come in, and let us know what your intentions are. What are you gonna do with the machine? What do you expect out of the machine? And then we can have a conversation about which machine is gonna best suit your needs. Is it more utility? Is it more a combination of both? Do we just want a trail ride? Those are all questions that you definitely wanna ask when you go into a dealer, okay? And our goal is to make sure that we get you in the right machine for you. And then we can also talk accessories on certain accessories that will help you get the most out of your machine alrighty so that's a wrap I hope this video helped you out if you have any questions don't hesitate to give us a call drop us a comment below we'll definitely answer it for you uh, please give us a visit online at robertsonspower.com and like I said before give us a call at 207-324-5502 don't forget to hit that like button 
please subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell. That way there, you are alerted to any future videos that are coming out. And I'll give you a little sneak peek. This bad boy right here is gonna be getting one heck of a build shortly. And we'll definitely be doing a video on that. You won't wanna miss it. Thanks for watching, have a great day.